Hello everybody, welcome to the Mike and Melly One Network here on YouTube. Welcome back to my Old Dominion Dynasty series here at NCAA 14. Which I am going to make an announcement here. If Old Dominion does decide to fire me at the end, yes, I am deciding to. I will continue this series. Don't you worry. And we already got the points we need for recruiting. So we're going to go in and schedule the. And, uh, and, uh, schedule the, schedule the, hold on, no, not position needs. We're going to start off with the scheduling of the visits. Let's see. Ready for visits. And how appropriate is the guys that we are searching? Ready to visit. Okay, let's see. Okay, visit. And we're gonna go with. How about we take it in against Colorado? Right there. And Colin McCarthy, we're gonna schedule it. We're gonna make him for. Iowa State, Iowa State, and Albert Wheeler, we're going to make him for UMass. So there we go, guys. You don't have to worry about recruiting much until we get it. So yes, we did fall in the rankings from 12 to 19, so we lost 7 spots, but that's okay. We'll probably get it back. And by the way, we're going to show the top 25, which I should do from here on out, which I didn't do last time. Well, I think I did do last time. And this week we got Minnesota, so... We're on the odds on favor, so Mississippi State dropped out, so give them a nice round of applause. Give them a nice round of applause, and let's take a look at the media. And we dropped from 7 to 16. Okay, that hurt. And we, Boise State it. Oh, my next video is up. The last Old Dominion episode is already ready. But we're going to be uploading the past SmackDown episodes again as we take a look at the conference standings. We are trailing surprisingly Navy of all teams. Because Notre Dame just lost two. And who do they lose to? Ohio State. Okay, that is reasonable. So, yeah. as we take a look at the Heisman watch, Jack Kemp is not on there. I think he got passed up. And all these guys won. Which sucks, but oh well. That's your time now for the players of the week. Unfortunately, none of our guys are on the national one, but I got an alert saying that the independents got one for independent league. Want to see who it is? Steven Jennings, our guy. Congratulations to him. So now, guys. We got a t another tough task ahead of us. We got the Minnesota Golden Gophers. And our offense are split, but our defense is in Minnesota's favor. So if we lose this match, we're still, we're not going to a BCS Bowl. Just putting that out there. And, and you know what we're going to do? We're not going to do the silver out again. We're going with this combo. So, let's go guys. Let's get it on. And hopefully Chad has a better, much better performance this time. We're both two and one, so yeah. So if we get this win here, this would be a good chance to show the nation that we can bounce back from that terrible effort against North Carolina. Yes, there will be a third attempt with all those missed pass interference calls. And this will be my last video for tonight, because tomorrow I'll be on my way to the park, getting ready. To visit Sir Hatbox Ghost. And, our, and by the way, here's our statistics. As you can see, our offense is really better than theirs. But our defense is a work in progress. As our top players again. Chad's on a hot streak. Adam's on a hot streak. And Jason Smith's on a hot streak. Which is funny because Chad had a terrible game yesterday. And our his, their top players, all of them are, except their halfback. One of them we have to look out for, and that's Anderson. Injury report, 
No injuries on our side. Well, their strong safety is out. Ooh, that could be... That could work in our favor. Let's go. Oh yeah, pass off and sex and second in the nation. Although it sucks that our rush offense isn't as good as it was a year ago. And next season we will be jumping to the Conference USA, so don't you worry. And there's Chad, and he is probably, probably... A fan favorite of all the Dynasty series that we got going on. Go Big Blue! It's a shame there was no NCAA 15 because I could so carry the series over. Here we go at Foreman Field guys. Here we go. Old Dominion versus Minnesota. So this is not a fan's team versus my team. So here we go. And we're going to kick and we're going to defend this way. Because I have a feeling this is not going to end well. Alright, so we're going to change up our strategy just a tad bit. We're going to start off with a pass play first. And since last game, this hopefully doesn't start. Hopefully this doesn't start the way I hope it's not going to end up. And then we see nice throw to Steven Jennings, and he is got a huge gain right off the bat. There you go, Chad. Way to rebound after last night's, after last week's game. Nice work there, Chad. Way to go. Although it's still kind of weird seeing him. And don't worry, guys. I have announced that Chad and Adam will be going in as Chad will be going into WWE 2K14. Very soon, I just have to get. We just have to get him later in the, in the series season. There's a nice, nice catch. Oh, wait, is that a catch? No. Ugh. Oh, that stunk. Adam had it and he looked and he dropped it. But here we go, guys. Here we go. Uh, All right, Adam's woes continue. That sucks, but oh well. Let's see. Let's see how we got here. Nice throw to Steven. Come on, Steven, get a break out of it. No, oh, but that's still a first goal, first thing goal for the Monarchs anyway. So here we go. And Chad already has 69 yards already. Very good. All right, all right, Adam, time for you to rebound here. Well, he gained a yard. Well, so far, it's been meh. He's more of a meh at this point. And there's Adam, and there it is! Touchdown, Monarchs! There we go! Adam Harrell is in the end zone for the first time today, and the first time in, in a very long time. And, oh, boy. Okay, Adam, if you make a mistake, we're going to be down by a, we're only going to be up by a short distance, so don't be, don't, no pressure. Aha. Now hopefully no fumble here, because we do not want to go into this a tie game. There's it. Oh, you gotta be kidding me. Poor decision. 
boy. Game, really? Thank goodness for Alex. Well, Alex Haas, he's going to be a big part of this team for a long time. There's the nice throw to Steven. Oh, jeez. First down there for the Marks. All right, here we go. First and first down for the Monarchs yet again here. Um, that's Jack. Hands it off to Adam Harrell and, and uh, oh, jeez! But nine-yard gain right there for Adam. Not bad. And on Thursday we'll do another episode. There we go. And uh, yeah, he got caught. Dang, Abbott. As we lose a couple of yards there. Yeah, I think this may be an off year for Chad. After the incredible year last year. Considering he had a big of an easy schedule. Let's put that out there. That's putting it out there. Nice catch by Steven. Way to go. First down. And that's our third straight third down conversion right there. And we're sending a message to the league, to the rest of the nation, saying that we can take on any team, except North Carolina. And nice throw there to Steven, and oh, second and five. And so far, Chad's having a much better game. But we gotta watch out for Josh Richardson. And oh, where it got to Steven Jennings. First and goal for the O oh, Dominion. Very good. And, wow. We're de dominating in the first down department, but it's still early in the game. And that's the end of the first quarter. The Monarchs lead 7 to nothing. Uh, it looks like Old Dominion may go up in the rankings if this thing keeps going the way it is going at this point. There's the Adam. Can he get it in? No, but he got four. Oh, dude, who let that guy in? And I think that was a... Oh, that was a... Mean tackle. By the way, just for a reference here for my WWE Kids series. Because, spoiler, Chad's gonna be in it. Like I said before. Or is he... Oh, no, I got... Oh, looking at the wrong location. Wrong one. Stats, there we go. Bandersville, Georgia. Okay, I gotta look that up. Alright, this is the situation I did not want to be in. <laughs> and there's Martinez and... Hey! Touchdown for Michael Martinez! Very nice! That's what I like to see, boys! And we convert yet another third down. The one I was thinking, okay, we're not going to do it. But then, Lord and behold, that's exactly what we did. Good job, Michael. But wait a minute, what happened to Adam? Hold on, let's take a quick look here. I hate substituting to you guys that Oh yeah, he suffered a strange shoulder. Okay. Okay. He should be back return after this next after this next care. And they scored. Okay. 
no big, no big worry. This is what I expected. Our their de our their defense is slightly better than ours. And Brandon catches that one very, very easily. And I have a feeling they're probably gonna challenge. Nope. No challenge there. And uh, let's see. Nice kill. Oh. And that was a big mistake. Nope, and there's the first mistake of the game. But at least it wasn't a... At least it wasn't a... Okay, yeah, it's a bad one. So now Minnesota's back in it. Uh, well, we knew it was bound to happen. I mean, we're playing Minnesota. We're playing a Big Ten team after all, and oh... Go, 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 Steven! Oh, son of a gun. Alright, let's try it again. That's okay, that's okay, don't worry. And, nope. All right, one more time. Nice catch and another, and yet another. And you know what? We're gonna waste the time out here. Why not? Man, this is getting, and this is getting good. All right, I don't know which player we're going to choose, but you know what? Screw it. From the 47 yard line, it's first down. I swear, if Adam scores on this, I'm going to be laughing. All right, here we go. And I think you guys know what I'm doing here. Yep, we're resorting to this. We're resorting to a Hail Mary to end the half here. And we let this be good. Nope. Dang it. But it was worth a try. So at the end of the half, it's tied at 14. Oh, well, the first quarter was mostly us, but then second half, Minnesota, second quarter, that's when Minnesota really started to wake up. So, yeah. This is the, uh... So there it is, guys. Or at halftime, guys. See you in a little bit. Back for the second half, ladies and gentlemen. Let's see how the defense does. And we managed to hold them off. Nice work, defense. So here we go. Let's see how the Monarchs do as Adam Harrell gets it in. He breaks up that tackle. And he gets a seven yard rush. Good job. Alright, ladies and gentlemen, here we go, and, uh, and there's Adam, and he gets the first down, Can, where, how far is he going to go? Yep. Alright, let's try this play now. And he got two. That's not the one I was hoping for, but oh well. You gotta take what you get.
Alright, let's try this pass. Alright, here we go. Second and eight. Here for the Monarchs. And there's a nice catch by Lake. And that's going to set up a third and four. And Howard Lake gets his first to catch of the game. Right there. And so far, there's our stats right now. We're having a mini streak here. The Undertaker going on here. And the streak continues. <laughs> And the streak continues. Thanks, Adam. What? Okie dokie. Alright, I'll be right back, guys. Sorry. Back. Let's keep going. Alright. First down for the marks. And actually, I think I may finish this episode off right here. Chad hands it off to Adam, and, whoa, whoa, Minnesota made a huge mistake there. Six-yard run right there. Nice job, Adam. <sighs> All right, let's try this. Second and four here as, as the Monarch fans are starting. to realize what's going on here. And then, oh, intercepted. Oh, here we go again. And Chad, he realized that it was a bad mistake to go with the play, but in the end, it, it ended up, Jeff ended up happening, and Minnesota makes them pay. But the good news is, they did, they don't make the extra point, and there's still plenty of game left to make. To and up, oh, of course. Ah, oh, man. And man, Old Dominion, they gotta be feeling nervous now, because if, if they win this game, they're staying in the top the twenty top 25 spot. It's on the line. So at least that, 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 that all we are gonna matter here at this point. Ugh. Well, at this point, they got to hurry it up because if we if we can somehow get the extra point we're going to hopefully pull off the win here and probably pull off an upset here of our own. Third and nine. Okay. Okay. Nothing to worry about here. The third and nine. Okay. Don't panic coach. And I see Alex Haas. Oh, Vandermeulen! There it is! There we go! Nick Vandermeulen! I thought it was going to be Haas, but you got Nick Vandermeulen. I completely forgot about him! He, uh, nice catch there! First down for the Monarchs, and the Monarchs are keep going with that never-say-die attitude. And the Monarchs are on the verge, are, are starting to get the mojo back. Nice job, Vandermeulen. And there's a nice throw. Vandermeulen, and he drops it. And they're celebrating his mistake. Alright. And okay, Haas is back out there. There's a nice throw to Haas. And Haas gets it in there, first down, Old Dominion. Very good. And the Monarchs are starting. They're starting to feel it. They're feeling it. They're feeling it. And there's the Adam, and he will... Uh, two. That was weird. I swear, can the Monarchs overcome this, those two mistakes they made earlier? And, uh, two again. Or gain of one. Oh boy, we're in trouble. 
And we're 7 for 7 on the third down, which is great, but the only problem is we're trailing. And there's the end. Nice catch by Howard Lake. First and goal for the Monarchs. No matter what. And we leveled up. We're now a level 11. Cool. Alright. Audible. Uh... Come on, Chad. Okay, good try, Chad. Good try. Uh, the Y button didn't work. Why didn't it work? Oh, we're gonna have to do it again? No. Come on, Chad. Get it in there. Come on, Chad. Oh my god! Chad got a touchdown! <laughs> Oh my god! The thing didn't work, but hey, who cares? Chad Kemp got a touchdown and we're tied up again. How about that? And oh my god. Are you kidding me right now? And Chad's gonna try and get it in there, and Adam's gonna get it in here, and we are down to a minute left. Less than a minute left to go. And no, uh, the stadium is starting to rise to their feet, knowing that the Monarchs are just 61 seconds away from a potential victory against, against a top powerhouse team on the rise like the University of Minnesota. This is huge here, as we are less than a minute away from the Monarchs rebounding after an embarrassing defeat, and we go 9 for 9 for third down conversion, by the way. And the Monarchs are starting to feel it. No, we're not going for the knee yet. That will be incredibly stupid. Don't want to be too cocky. Alright, here we go. And there's the Adam Harrell. Hits it for a three-yard gain. And there it is, guys. The Monarchs are on the verge of a victory. Here and I said, oops, I accidentally hit the meal. All right, might as well use a timeout of our own here. And man, look how close the total yard was. I mean, gee, that was really close. All right, didn't mean to hit the meal there. Once we hit the first down, that's when we'll do it. Like I said before in my past videos. And there's the Adam Harrell. Can he get it? Nope, third and one. <laughs> nope, third and one. All right, let's make it 10 for 10. <laughs> there we go, 10 for 10. <laughs> We've been perfect. Now, this is the right time to take the knee. As we get into victory formation, guys. And for the... Yep, take the knee, Chad. And how appropriate. As, the, as Chad struggled throughout today with those two interceptions, Chad scored the game-winning touchdown. And that missed extra point was Minnesota's downfall. The Monarchs win! 21-20. to Oh, man, what a game between the Minnesota Golden Gophers and the Old Dominion Monarchs, ladies and gentlemen. What a complete show this team ha had. And a, and a big game all around from everybody, as we take a look at the stats here. Great showing from everybody. Ex Chad had an okay performance, better than yesterday. No pass interference calls here. Even He didn't get sacked once. Which is a huge improvement. Although the interceptions, that's still an issue with him. Adam Harrell, everybody had a touchdown tonight, including Adam with a the game winner. Game winner. Michael Martinez, our, our, our star of the future for one year. Adam Harrell, our All American. Had a bit of big effort here. Oh, great, this glitch. Uh, oh, we fixed it. Good.
And take a look at our star, Stephen Jennings. None of our receivers got a touchdown tonight. Although it was funny, Stephen Jennings is once again our top guy, but it's a shame that he's going to be leaving. Same with Vandermeulen and her. Same for Vandermeulen. So, unless. We're probably going to be scouting some receivers very soon, so don't you worry about that, guys. Alright, guys, so that's it, guys. Tomorrow, we'll find out where Old Dominion is in the rankings, guys. That, that nearly gave me a damn heart attack, guys. Big props to Minnesota and their coaching staff in that game, guys. That was incredible. And let's take, oh, we got games around the country. We got Maryland defeating, defeating Ohio, I mean, oh, University of Ohio, 51-17. to 17. Man, they didn't got out of the starting gate. Why do I have a feeling we're going to play Maryland in a bowl game? We got number 24, Nebraska beating Northwestern 34-24. And Penn State beating the Battle of Pennsylvania, crushing them 52-21. Jeez, another potential bowl opponent for us. Syracuse defeated Texas State 34-10. Toledo beat San Jose State 26-14. And Western Michigan defeated Navy 17-60. So, yes! So, they're not undefeated anymore. As we take a look at the stats, and man, uh, you're talking about stats that are so close, that passing yards. And our players of the game, Adam Harrell is for us, and Blake Horn is their defense partner. Player of the game, injury report, none of us so far, so as long as we keep healthy, this team is on the rise. And I'm a level 11, sweet. And we'll be taking care of that later, so don't you worry about that. And that's Pretty much going to do it, guys. Recruiting is done. So, next time on the this series, we're going to take on yet another Big 12 team. Only this time, we're taking on the Fighting Illini of Illinois. Until then, guys, good night, and I'll see you guys at the park tomorrow morning. And it's time to meet a Disney legend.